The following broadcast is brought to you by Public House Media. Hello, welcome to Choose to Rise, housed here on Public House Media. I'm so glad that you're here to give a listen. My podcasts are audio pulled from my live Facebook posts every single morning, where I share other healthy living tips, motivational information, and connect with people from all over to live them, their life as a very best self. If you like these messages, I hope you tell a friend about Public House Media and my podcast so we can spread more positivity around the world. Thanks for listening. On with the show. Good morning, everyone. How's it going? My name is Kim Meyer. I am the founder of Choose to Rise on Facebook, on um, Instagram. Um, choose to rise up.com. I am here on public life, public house media, um, and here to talk to you today about um, how to be a strong woman. Um, I am so grateful for public house media and the opportunities they give me to spread my voice, spread positivity, and spread hope. And, um, and it's my mission in life to help women rise up out of their current situations and live life with hope and in purpose. So um, hopefully today that you that's what happens to you in this podcast. Um, thank you, Public House Media, for allowing me to, to do this, for hosting my podcast and all those kinds of things. So if you are listening on the podcast, welcome. Thank you. Hopefully you hit subscribe and share with your friends. Um, if you're live here on the video, thanks again for watching. Um, today we are going to be talking, like I said, about building strength, strong women. Um, you know, a lot of people, this is not to brag, but a lot, a lot of people um, say, Kim, you're so strong. Oh, you've come through so many things. Oh, and I'm like, I'm just in survival mode. <laughs> Honestly, um, there's been things that have happened in my life that have developed grit in me, that have developed resilience in me. Um, and it really hasn't been until the last couple of years that I've really realized um, what it is that I've, I've come through. I've like gone back and reflected on my life. I was always just swimming and treading water and um, trying to figure life out. Um, I didn't know I was a strong woman. I didn't know that I was um, I was conquering anything. I was doing anything good for my life. I was actually not doing very many things good for my life. Um, I was kind of downward spiraling into um, something that um, I wasn't I wasn't able to keep going, and um, I kind of hit my rock bottom. I, I had gained all this weight after my kids. I had uh, done all these things, and um, you know, and I was just kind of overwhelmed in life. Um, it wasn't until I found personal development and started really digging into my reflecting on my past and figuring out where I was going that um, you know I really kind of started to develop this strong woman mindset. And so that's something I want to share with you this morning um, are some things to do if you're going to be a strong woman. Um, and we all are capable of it. We're all um, able to seize the day. We're all able to go forward and be amazing because God has created us in his likeness, all human beings in his likeness. That's who we are as humans. Um, and it's completely up to us to realize our potential, to um, be the person that he's created us to be. We all have a purpose here. We wouldn't be here if we didn't have a purpose. And so um, everyone here has this opportunity to go forward and be amazing. So um, these are just some things that you need to do if you're going to be a strong woman. And number one is seize the moment. Um, there's a quote by Marie um, Ray. She's an author. It says, be, begin doing what you want to do now. We are not living in eternity. We have only this moment, sparkling like a star in our hand and melting like a snowflake. And she's so right. Life is such a precious gift. We have no idea when our time is up. We have no idea when we've completely fulfilled our purpose. And so um, we really need to make sure that we are living in the moment, not wasting any time that we have here on earth to be our absolute best. So if you're not happy with where you're at, do something that makes you happy. Be the person that you want to become. Live the dreams that you have. What you have now may not be enough for you, may not be what you're intended to be, may not be what you um, are created for. So make sure that you are going out and doing the things. Don't limit yourself. That's number two. Don't limit yourself. You have abundant. Um, we live in a world that is full of abundance. And if you're living in, a, in a, a mindset of scarcity, something that is keeping you back saying, oh, I've, I'm not able to do that. I'll never be able to. That's a scarcity mindset. There is enough energy. There's enough positivity. There's enough love. There's enough um, 
creation of amazing things for all of us. We live in an abundant world. Don't limit yourself to what you have now. Don't limit yourself to what you think you could maybe do. Dream bigger. You are made for more. There is everything that you need or want is around you. Um, He's put it all inside of you. You just have to think about it. Uh, Mary Kay Ash, the founder of Mary Kay Cosmetics, actually said, don't limit yourself. Many people limit themselves to what they think they can do, but you can go as far as your mind lets you. You believe you can do it. Remember that you can always achieve it. And the next one is never give up. Um, Lillian Vernon from um, the Lillian Vernon Corporation says, uh, I became successful due to several reasons. I never give up and I never let anyone or anything else get in my way. I use the power of positive thinking to tackle obstacles and challenges so they don't defeat me. We all have have choices in our life every single day. We can take what's happened to us and choose to let it overwhelm us, choose to let it consume us, choose to let it downward spiral us. We can take that energy, we take that, even if it's a negative thing, take it as a learning opportunity, see the positive in it, and make it help you go upward. Make your master message, move forward, and and let the things shape you, um, but don't let them define you. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Um, Number four, shape your own future. You get to decide how you respond to everything that happens in life. You get to decide how um, you're going to let things affect you. Um, You know, I've had some not so nice things happen to me in life. I've also had some amazing things happen to me in my life. Um, You know, but letting the things that um, I've always, until the last few years, I've let the negative things in my life kind of define who I was. Um, I let... Um, having a meager upbringing um, define me who I was in as a not enough kind of person. Um, I let I, I let a lot of things um, put labels on myself that I didn't really need to. Um, I put a lot of um, I let things happen to me um, that were not necessarily horrible things, but they they definitely mess with your mind <laughs> a little bit and help and they they made me feel like I wasn't enough. They made me feel like um, I wasn't I, I had to prove myself to people and. You know, a lot of those things we let shape us, we can let them shape us in a good way, we can let them shape us in a bad way. And, you know, it wasn't until I really started to really dig into like personal development and believe that I was made for more and believe that there was a purpose for me in this life and find my purpose um, of helping women become positive, more positive individuals and helping them build confidence that until I let those, those, that mess become my message, um, I wasn't able to be the strongest person that I could be. And a lot of people say, oh, you're so strong. You've come through so much. But really, it's just a never giving up and letting the things that have been in my past shape me for my future and let them guide me to becoming the best. Uh, Number five is be quiet, not be quiet enough to hear. Remember that all the answers you need are inside of you. Only you have to become quiet enough to hear them. Debbie Ford said that. Um, So you have to listen. Live to listen with your ears, listen with your mind, listen with your heart to what it is that God wants you to do with your life. Um, you know, until you become quiet and you really listen, shut out the chaos of the of the life, shut out um, all of the negativity that's going on around you, and just listen and be. Find the things that are a part of you. Find the find the purpose that God's put inside of you, and go forward and do those things. Number six is don't be afraid to juggle. Most of us have um, trouble juggling all the things that happen in our life. Women who say I doesn't, um, she doesn't have someone or something to it. When most of us have trouble juggling things. The women who say she doesn't, it doesn't, is someone who I admire, but I would never have met. Um, Barbara Walters um, said that. So you know, as a mom. Um, as a busy working mom, um, as I'm a, I have a, I'm a school administrator. I have lots of things on my plate every single day. I'm a busy mom of two. I'm involved in my community. I'm a coach. I come here like this. Everyone has a lot of things on their plate. I mean, I could keep rattling off all the hats that I wear, right? And so could you. But what it really comes down to is don't be afraid to juggle all of that. Don't be afraid to say, I can do all of this, but also know your boundaries and know your limits and when it is time to say no. Know that you, um, can only do so many things well, but it's not, it's okay to juggle things. It's okay to, um, take care of them and take care of you. Just be careful not to to put too many things on your plate. Number seven is find your voice. A woman with a voice is by definition a strong woman, but the search of to find that voice can be remarkably difficult. And you, when you're going through the things that you have mentioned before, you know, shaping the things that are shaping you, never giving up, not limiting yourselves, all those things are going to help you be your very best. Um, so just finding the voice inside of you, it goes back to that listening thing, listening to who you've become, listening to who you want to be, and then going forth and um, conquering those things. Um, it's something that you are completely capable of doing. 
be someone, not something. Um, Coco Chanel, um, if you know who she is, um, says how many cares one loses when one decides not to be something, but to be someone, right? If you be someone to somebody, you're going to have a, a much better impact on on life than being something. We all we have lots of labels on us in life. Um, we're a mom. We are um, a, a teacher. We are a um, worker. We are a whatever. Like I'm an accountant. I'm a um, business person. I own a store. I'm a coach. I'm a whatever. Um, I'm a wife. But there are so many labels that we put ourselves and then we kind of put ourselves in these little boxes that say, um, this is what I am. And what you really can need to do is open up that box and really decide who, who else you want to be. We don't have to be defined by these labels. You know, one in the, one of my recent groups, uh, I had a, a woman say, like, we were talking about all the I am statements and I am amazing. I am beautiful. I am confident. And she wrote, I am a mom. And she said, I, I need to get, she's like, I love being a mom. I love my children. I love, I love being a part of their lives. She's like, but that's, that's what the role that I've let define me. And I've lost who I am as a person. I've lost who she, who she, she says she lost who she was. And she's through this journey of, of working out and eating well and personal development mindset. She's, she's figuring out who she is again and she's loving it. And she's being a better mom because she's able to be herself and not be pigeonholed into a certain role. So be someone not something. Um, make sure you're you're going out and being who you were created for. That you were made for more. That you are able to go forward and do things. Help others be feel good. That is one of my my favorite things to do in life. One of the things that fills my cup the most is when I am able to help another woman, another mom, another busy, crazy, chaotic living life lady find her purpose and feel good about herself. Um, when you've learned that people will forget what you've said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how they, you made them feel. My Angelo has the perfect quote there. And um, if you can help someone feel good about themselves, if you can help someone feel amazing about themselves, that is the best feeling for you as well. Trust me, it works. And I challenge you today to go out and do that. And the last thing I'm going to share with you today is be different. Um, go out and be different. Be you. Everyone is created for their own purpose. Everyone was created for uh, more. Everyone was created with a specific um, purpose and, and being inside of them. And we're all different from each other. The, the times when we try to become like other people, the, the times that we try to mimic others is the time that we lose who we are. Um, we get pigeonholed into those specific roles and we get pigeonholed into these specific um, types of people and we, we lose who we are. We lose our beginning. We lose our purpose. We lose, we lose ourselves and that's never a good thing. Um, but to be a strong woman means that you're different from others, that you own who you are and you go out and you help other people feel good, that you, um, you become someone, not something. You find your voice and you use it because you're different, because you're amazing, because you're made for more. You're not afraid to juggle multiple things in your life because you are strong enough to handle everything that gets thrown at you. You're never um, given more than you can handle. Um, you are quiet long enough. You take time to to relax and be in self-care mode enough for that you can listen to what's on your heart, listen to what God's putting into the side of you to go forward. Never give up on what your dreams are. Um, never give up on being, trying to be successful and go forward with what it is that um, what he's laid inside of you. Um, don't limit yourself and um, seize the moment. Seize every single moment of the, that you have because uh, we are made for more and in his likeness and in his greatness and um, we can we can do anything and everything that we put our minds to. So that's what I have for you today on being a strong woman. If you can tackle those 10 things today or even just apply one of them. Take one of those thoughts and marinate on it. Take one of those thoughts and apply it to your life today and see how strong that you become. See how strong you feel um, and go forward in an amazingness. So I hope that you have a fabulous day. I hope that you've hit subscribe on this podcast. I hope that you hit subscribe to this Facebook page and head to mine as well on choose to rise up and, um, and go there as well and hit subscribe, um, and follow and share this with everyone that, you know, um, we are on this mission to help. I am on this mission and we, as my team, team rise and fit are on this mission to help women rise up out of their current struggles and live life with hope and with purpose. And, um, the more people we can impact, the more people we can help do that. Um, the more, the more my purpose is going to be fulfilled and the more God is going to smile down on all of us. Um, so let's make this ripple effect. Let's pay it forward. Uh, and whatever you do today, I hope that you choose to rise up and be the very best that you can possibly be. Have a good one. 
Hey, I'm glad you enjoyed the show. Please follow Public House Media on Twitter at the PH Media and on Facebook at Public House Media to stay up to date on this podcast as well as many other things happening on the network. You can leave me feedback on my show, and if you have any questions, comments, or new ideas or topics, I would love to hear them. You can also follow me on my social media account, Choose to Rise Up, at Facebook and at KJP Meyer on Instagram. I hope you have a great day.